Sup, what's up, my beautiful loved ones? We are about to get a divine feminine check in. Divine feminine check in. Alright, hope everybody's on Moy Magnifico today. I'm here, I'm just chilling, loving life, being highly favored and blessed. You already know how that is. And uh, I'm feeling good. So let's see what's good with the divine feminine. Alright. Right, we'll start off with the moonology as per usual. Let's see what's going on with the divine feminine. Let's see what the most high has for the divine feminine. Let's see what the most high has for the divine feminine. Full moon in Aries. Cool your emotions, babe. Cool your emotions. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Last quarter moon in Gemini. Clear your mind. Is there another moonology card for the Divine Feminine? Yes, there is. All right. And new moon in Cancer. Relax. So cool your emotions and relax. Dang, Divine Feminine. I don't know what's going on with you, but hope all is well with you. All right. Ready? Shuffle and split. Let's see what's influencing the read. A page of cups. I see what's going on here. Most high is like, yep, da, 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 da. Got, calm down, calm it down, calm it day. All right, calm it day. All right, sit down. And you're just like, it's a fish in a cup. Calm it down. It's a page. Calm it down. Are you serious? And you know, the most high is just like, yeah, bro. All right, blessings come in strange disguises. Blessings, a blessing in disguise. There we go. Blessings in disguises. All right, so that's what this one's feeling like, seeming like. All right, it looks like somebody is attempting okay i'm gonna give you the page of cups. i'm gonna put that out there for us that's me i believe i don't know it's kind of both at the same time so i think we both collectively chose that one all right um all right so things is, things are moving all right and it looks like this page is coming in to balance the scales they're trying to invest all right they're trying to make things right they're, they're trying to you know do the best of their ability it looks like um they want things to turn in their favor and it looks like you already walked away from this energy all right divine feminine okay all right ten of pentacles bottom of the deck so it looks like the wheel is spinning and there's a couple ways that it could actually be spinning with the seven of cups here all right it looks like there's work that could be made so that we can have this new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles. So it looks like this page is actually a blessing coming to you. As I said, this page is coming to you as a blessing in disguise. Maybe you didn't think it would turn out to be what it is, but in actuality, if we cool our emotions, they're not so bad. I see what you did there, spirit. I see what you did there, bud. Okay, so this was painful. All right, that's why you walked away from the situation in the first place. All right, great. Gave you anxiety, had you up in your head. You didn't know what was what was right, what was left, what was wrong, what was going on. And you just were overall, como se dice, distraught. All right, you like, no. So you removed yourself from the situation. As I said, it was very painful. All right, you did some research. You seen what was going on. And you were like, yeah, this isn't for me. So what did you do? You dropped your sword and you moved in another direction. Seeing that this other energy may have been in it uh, when it all cost types vibe, John will say, which was real painful because you were just trying to simply communicate. Page of Swords. All right, you didn't speak this before, so now you're trying to speak this and you're having a difficult or a hard time, you know, getting this message across. I feel you. I feel you. All right, King of Pentacles. Where do you want to go? So this king, he's holding on. He's like, no, hold on. Hold on. You've captured my heart, queen. You've captured my heart, queen of cups. I need to balance the scales with you. All right. I need to fix things. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm thinking, pondering. All right. It's hurting my brain, honestly, by looking at the picture. But he's holding on to this. He wants to reconcile. He wants to celebrate and have good times with the three of cups. All right. Okay.
He's coming in friendly, passive. All right. I guess he doesn't want to cause friction to the situation because there's always been, there's already been a lot of pain and a lot of like brutal energy towards somebody who's actually captured your heart. So I feel where he's coming from with the light, caring, small gesture, gentle things. I do. Interesting. Nine of Cups. Hmm. All right. So it looks like this is actually his wish fulfillment. He is obsessed about you. And whatever he's working on to make this happen, he's obsessing about it. It looks is looking a little crazy, if I say so myself. A little off the radar. But it looks like he doesn't have a com communication about you because... Or to you, letting you know that you are his Ten of Cups. You are his happily ever after. He's already fulfilled within himself, but you just add an extra je ne sais quoi. I don't even know what that means, but it felt right to say so, huh? Okay. He wants to transform the situation. All right. Reconciliation. Transformative energy. I like it. I love it, honestly. Okay. All right, Divine Feminine. So basically, you just need to calm down and let him play his part. Let him make up for where he wronged, where he hurt you. Because he looks like he stabbed you in the back over there. And you were just my, my chilling, resting, minding your beeswax. Looks like you were in the sun, just catching some rays. And boom, 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 ten of them. I'm called for Anything else, Spirit? You guys are of the same cloth. King and Queen of Pentacles. All right. You're both of value. And unfortunately, the King of Pentacles is more into the practical things, more to the material things. All right. In the Queen of Pentacles, she's giving, nurturing. She's very much humble down to earth. All right. Be both beautiful energies, both givers. They just give in different ways. All right. And that may be where they kind of cause some friction all right let's see what's going on yeah he's 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 locked on he's locked in all he sees is his queen of cups that's it he just he only wants her that's his focal point and as you can see feelings are definitely reciprocated and they actually both want to give to each other so i'm honestly feeling like this is a lack of communication which is why we're in this situation in the first place because they both feel the same way they both match each other maybe i don't they're not even separated energetically like they're legit matching each other however one flexes the other one flexes all right I, i'm loving it this is a beautiful dynamic this is a beautiful pair all right this is this is awesome <laughs> this is awesome bro okay okay let's see is there anything else spirit All right, well, it looks like the manifestation or the wish fulfillment or what we've been praying for has finally been heard. And it looks like the gift is actually moving past this. All right, so you guys can have success coming together and making this work. Okay, all right. I see that this was a missed opportunity possibly. All right, maybe you rejected the situation. And you decided to move in another direction. But, I, but this is coming across as a true blessing in disguise. Alright. So anything worth having is not going to be shiny and glittery and all perfect and everything. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have a couple rocks with it. A couple, it's not going to be as smooth as you think it is. Alright. So just hold tight. Keep your faith. Remember, faith without works is dead. Alright. So we wouldn't be here. If we didn't have faith first things first all right so let's pour a little bit extra faith into the big guy and let you know let them work on our behalf let spirit work for us and then he'll appoint the appropriate angels to you know delegate whatever here whatever there and you just sit back and be in this loving beautiful energy because you look very sensual hold on let me show you what i see real quick just just, just this all right very sensual beautiful energy look at her right beautiful eyes third eye is wide open right beautiful i just had to give you a glimpse of what i see she, she's just staring at me 
I mean, his loss. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But um, Divine Feminine, we're doing good. It looks like you were open to this energy and they hurt your feelings. So shout out to you for not pulling out your sword, for not flipping in the reverse, for not and for no regression. You actually did not. You actually you did phenomenal. All right. Now, I also would like to um, we're going to do a reading for the Divine Masculine as well. But with the Divine Feminine, she did ph phenomenal. Feminine energy phenomenal. Divine Masculine, what I do like is that, you know, he did a big owie, a very bad owie. But he's taking accountability and he's coming in to correct it. He's he's acknowledging his feelings, his emotions, and he's moving, I want to say sincerely. Because, you know, the King of Cups is a righteous energy. All right. And I love the fact that there's no swords other than these swords. There's no real swords going on between the two and their feelings. So, you know, it's not like they're blocking or they're masking anything from each other. They're just like, you know, keeping their space, being respectful, respectful to each other. All right. OK. Two of Pentacles, six of Pentacles. All right, so somebody's just going back and forth. Can I give to this situation? Can I? I don't know if I can. All right, now the six and the two pentacles create the eight pentacles, right? That's the work that they have to do on the situation. Seems that this energy was a bit reckless with the Knight of Wands there. Very reckless, but it looks like they were attempting to move things to calmer waters. All right. There may be some hidden emotions that need to be expressed on this betrayal. That's the three of swords here. As you can see, stabbed in his back, didn't see it coming. You know, was in the middle of an embracive moment. Or in a moment where they were embracing. So, you know, those emotions definitely need to be spoken about and released. Because you guys will not be successful if you guys are harboring any feelings. It's going to create resentment. And that resentment is going to lead to failure. All right, we're not doing that. Not in this lifetime, not on this timeline. All right, we worked too hard. Look at you, Empress. You've worked too hard. How dare you even think about that popping up in your own read like that to check yourself. I love it. Shout out to the Empress for coming through. Nonetheless, let's finish this up real quick. You've got things to do, and I want snacks. So, two of cups, three of pentacles. Empress, if you choose so, this will work. All right. This is your two of cups. As you can see, you guys are equally yoked. And you guys, you clearly needed to gain a perspective on this fiery, passionate energy. And now you need confirmation. That's when your homie Ish comes in. And I'm letting you know that you're good to go. All right. You're, you are good to go with this particular energy. Let's check the bot. Let's see. I want to say the bottom. Let's see if we can get a moonology card for this. Now that we're at this portion of the divine feminine. Let's just see. We got a tip. All right, and they're green. So that's, I don't know if that's a heart shocker or if that's like green. I believe that's uh, emotions, right? The cups, people. Let's see what's going on. Full moon of Taurus. Detoxify. Pfft, story of my life. All right. All right, so we need to detox. We need to detoxify divine feminine. Okay. Full moon of Taurus. Okay. And last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. All right, exactly. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. If you're going to move forward with this energy, let bygones be bygones. All right, we got to leave everything over there so we can move forward. Truly detox everything from the past so that you can move forward. All right, we got to leave all that nonsense, all that icky gunk and all that. Just leave it over there and we're going to continue to move forward and excel and ascend. All right, they had to learn the same way you had to learn to become the empress. They had to learn as well. All right, so very proud of you You're doing phenomenal let's um let's see what's going on with the divine masculine all right guys i love you all mucho mas and i love my divine feminines look at us look at us all right let's go check these masculines out all right guys love you all mucho mas stay blessed stay up and stay productive love you all